Hey, it's Jeff here, and it's time for me to cook dinner. And I'm going to do a split pea and ham soup in the pressure cooker. Only takes about six or seven ingredients, as you will see, and about 30 minutes in the cooker, and then you're all set with a thick and rich and hearty pea soup. So stick around. Watch me make it. Okay, pretty simple ingredients. I'm melting some butter right now in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to be using some onions, some celery, some salt and pepper, some garlic, of course, a package of split peas, some carrots, these ham hocks, and some chicken broth. And I'm going to put the onions and the celery and the garlic in to get them all browned up before I cook the rest of this. Okay, got the pressure cooking going, and I've got some butter that's melted, about three tablespoons of it, and I'm kind of stirring up these uh, onions and the celery, kind of brown them up just a little bit. Okay, I think these onions and the celery have cooked up pretty good. Time to throw in the garlic, mix that all in, give it a little bit of aroma. This only needs about, oh, half a minute or so, just to give it a bit of an aroma. Okay, let me put in these two ham hocks. There we go. Those ham hocks are now in there. I want to give them just a little chance to brown themselves. Next up, let's put those carrots in. And then I'm going to pour in the chicken broth. Let this kind of go right in here. I want to put the whole thing in here, and I kind of want to cover it up as best as I can. If I can't cover it up, I'll have to add a little water at the end. All right, pour in this whole bag of split peas. Salt and pepper has now been put in. The adding touch, a couple of bay leaves. And then you grab your pressure cooker cap and screw it into place. There we go, in place. Make sure this is in the sealed position. So now I wait for 30 minutes while the pressure cooker does its thing and I'm gonna go check out the news or do a couple of chores here before it's time to eat. So we've counted down to zero. Been going a half hour and now it's time to release the pressure valve before I do anything else. So we'll watch that happen. There goes the pressure valve. I'll just let it pressure depressurize on its own. It took about one minute to depressurize, so unscrew the cap, take a look inside. Now that looks fairly delightful, and it looks like those ham hocks sort of fell apart a little bit, which is good. And if not, I'll be cutting them up and serving this. Let me just put this down for a minute, reach over to grab this and kind of Give you a better look at how it looks in here. Ooh, nice and thick, nice and hearty. Yeah, that looks exactly the way I hoped it would look. All right, I'm looking forward to trying this out in just a moment. And there it is in my soup bowl, all ready to eat. Nice and pasty, nice and thick, just the way I like it. So, that'll do it for now. I'm about to enjoy dinner. Thanks for watching.